So uh, all I have left is these four totes uh, that need to be cleaned inside. I cleaned the outsides of them. Uh, I noticed on a couple other, I'll have to get his name and, and add it in as a caption, uh, sites where instead of cutting them like I did here, uh, they cut the other way so you don't have to worry about a lid or the spigot coming out you just wind up with a, a bed uh, so I'm gonna cut this IBC tote I've already cut two of the frames up that I had I like these kind of frames here with the square tubing just because everything's lined up better it's uh, easier to deal with and work with so I cut two of the frames up I'm gonna cut these four IBC or two of these IBC totes into four grow beds the other two, I'm going to cut the tops off, pressure wash them, and set them up in those two cages there as uh, fish tanks. I'm going to line them up along this side to make my grow beds so I can get the fish in bigger tanks, get water circulating and everything else. After I get the system set up, I'm probably going to move all this stuff again and make these two grow beds over here. Uh, so I'll have six grow beds down this side, which is the total amount that I want to have. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of junk in the yard. I'm, it's a work in progress, trust me. Uh, it's going to get better, I hope. Anyway, if I can get the rest of it set up, I'm going to take these fish, put them in one of the totes, bring all the rest of my fry from inside, put them in the other tote, and uh, try to get a system going with more grow beds, more gravel space for the bacteria, uh, so that I, my inside system won't be as gunked up, and these guys will be able to grow and I'll be able to move them into the other tanks once I get things set up or sell them to other people in the area that are trying to get interested in the aquaponics. So anyway, well, here's how I'm cutting these up. I mean, you can watch many videos on how to cut the frames of the IBC totes up. Just measure, decide where you need to cut them off at, uh, get a grinder, a metal cut, the thin metal cutting blade on it, and go to town. I think I already put my grinder up. I don't see it just get you a decent grinder I need to get a better one uh, but a decent grinder the thin metal cutting blade not a grinding blade the thin metal cutting blade uh, cut your frame up and then if you want to to get rid of the burrs and edges put a grinding blade on or get a file and, and knock those off uh, for safety it'd be a good idea but then I'm gonna take the totes I'm gonna use my my battery powered saw uh, 18 volt to cut the totes up. Now since the base is four inches from the edge of the edge of the plate there over to where the blade is, I want these to cut these 13 inches off of here. So I can have 12 inches of gravel, uh, which will give me about 10 and a half, 11 inches of water, a little bit of gravel to keep the sun off so I don't get algae in the beds. And, but it puts it down in a divot here. It's hard to mark and everything, excuse me, everything else. So. What I did was I got this, this rip of uh, plywood that I've had for a while. I use it for this a lot. It's two inches wide. So I can take it and I've, I've screwed it down to the IBC tote along that center line where the two halves are joined at. So that's two inches. I've got the four inches of the foot plate. It will give me four inches over. And that way I can just run along that guide to chop it up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and get them all cut up. Uh, and get everything cleaned up and once I get everything set up and going I'll do another short uh, video or take a couple pictures and just do a voiceover but that's where we're at today I'm trying to get more of this stuff done I don't know why but enjoy <laughs> 